Hi Cal fans, I'm Nikki Modiri. And I'm Haley Talvit. Welcome back to another episode of Cal TV Sports Shorts. On Friday, November 1st, the Cal men's soccer team faced the San Diego State Aztecs and won 3-2. This was an important win for the Bears as last weekend they had their first game of the season to San Diego Toreros in a score of 1-0. The Bears wreaked havoc in the game as they scored all three goals very early on, with the first coming in the 15th minute and the following two within the next six minutes. The Bears remained ahead 3-0 until the last 10 minutes of the game in which the two goals were scored by the Aztecs. This game marks Coach Grimes' 150th career win, an obviously very impressive accomplishment, which he states is due to the incredible student athletes he has had the pleasure of coaching. On Sunday, the Bears battled UCLA at home in Edwards Stadium, but unfortunately lost 3-2. Sunday was also Senior Day, which was celebrated in a pregame ceremony for the five Golden Bear seniors. The next three games, and the final games of this season, will all be away games, and there is no doubt fans will be tuning in to watch the incredible soccer that our Cal Bears have been demonstrating. The California women's swimming and diving team won a dual meet against Wisconsin this past weekend, beating them 163 to 111. Freshman Selena Lee showed her versatility by winning both the 1,000-yard free swim and the 200-yard breaststroke. Missy Franklin showed us just why she's the world's record holder at the 200-meter distance when she swam the 200 back for the first time in college. The Bears are currently ranked number one in the Pac-12 and have two remaining meets at Speaker Aquatics Complex in January. Kicking off an exciting upcoming season for women's basketball, our Golden Bears played their exhibition match this past Friday night, November 1st, at Haas Pavilion. The Bears proved victorious against Vanguard, dominating with a final score of 91-62. to While the score is indicative of a clear and decisive victory, it actually took until the last 11 minutes for the Bears to pull away and claim the substantial victory of almost 30 points. Tremendous performances came from Brittany Boyd, Rashonda Gray, and Courtney Range, who racked up 17 points each. Hopefully the Bears will be carrying on this momentum into the first regular season opener scheduled for Friday, November 8th, next week at 6 p.m., in which they will battle Long Beach State. Then, just two days later, our Bears are set to play Duke on Sunday, November 10th, in a game that will be broadcasted on ESPNU. Last weekend, the California Golden Bears fell to the Washington Huskies at Husky Stadium. Quarterback Jared Goff threw for 336 yards and scored a touchdown, while wide receiver Chris Harper hauled in six catches for 98 yards and a touchdown. Unfortunately, the Huskies scored in both the second and third quarters, eventually beating the Bears 41-17. After falling behind 17-0 in the first quarter, the Bears made a strong comeback with touchdowns by both Goff and Harper and 10 tackles by defensive back Cameron Walker. The Bears now move on to a home game at California Memorial Stadium against the University of Southern California Trojans this Saturday. Well, Cal fans, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Haley Talbot. And I'm Nikki Modiri. And make sure to tune in next week to get your down low on What's Up in Cal TV Sports.